every second it's sampling your eye and then it's doing a geometrical mathematical calculation to work out exactly where you're looking uh, and it's doing this at incredibly fast speeds so this is all happening in real time and look to the center very good excellent yeah maybe you could look around the screen a little bit so We could do that again with me zooming out as well if you want. Can you um, get her to look around as though you were checking the parameters? Okay, yeah. So if you want to look over here, please. And over here. Now over here. Okay. And over here. Yeah, that's right. That's good. That looks much better. When this stimulus appears on the screen, participants are drawn to it because they have task specific instructions related to this green circle. So in order to exercise conscious control over the eye movements to look in the other direction requires some kind of cognitive control, uh, an executive function um, and people with Alzheimer's disease are less readily able to follow the instructions and look away. For example, when you're driving, there's lots of things happening. It's very important that we can focus our attention where you want to go and ignore distracting information. And this test looks at that ability. If you could fixate on this little red circle whilst it moves around the screen. We find in Alzheimer's disease, for some reason, patients don't seem to be aware of the errors that they're making. So they get distracted and they fail to correct for that distraction. So you're supposed to look at the opposite side of the screen now. That's very good. Thank you very much. That includes you as well. Really the network, the neural network that controls how you move your eyes around the screen is distributed in different parts of the brain and some of those very same areas that are responsible for moving your eyes are also uh, impaired in Alzheimer's disease. So we know that Alzheimer's disease starts very, uh, in a very small part of the brain and then it spreads gradually to other parts. And some of those areas that it affects are areas that are involved in attention and memory and voluntary control and inhibitory control. And these are all um, aspects, cognitive uh, uh, operations that are involved in controlling the eyes as well. Now, I was watching the Queen video, I'd like you to look and see what colours all the clothes are within the room. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to try and remember as much detail about the different coloured clothes as you can. So the pink dot is the, the eye movement and this eye is looking at the more interesting thing in the scene which would be the queen. How many bald men could you see? Um, I counted 13. Very good, thank you. Well I'm involved quite a lot with music, I sing in three choirs and I play the ukulele and I'm trying to play the guitar as well and I think that really, really helps. Um, Singing, I think, is very good for your mental and physical well-being and I think learning any sort of musical instrument does help your, your memory and, um, and keep your brain active.
Very good. How many bald men were in the room? Well, I counted 13, I think. Very good.